was a world-famous expert of Peking opera in China. He was born on October 22, 1984 in Taizhou, Jiangsu, China. He was born to a family of Beijing opera performers and was destined to be a performer himself. He began studying Peking opera at age 8 and made his stage debut at age 11, playing a weaving girl. Mai was an incredible performer and became known for playing female roles. Mai Lan Feng was his stage name and is typically considered to be a female name in Chinese. His real name was Mai Lan. His style of dance was so praised that it became turned into a school called the Mai Lan Feng School. Mai was one of the first artists to spread Beijing operas to foreign country, such as Japan and the United States. Mai was appointed to a high-rank official position when the commander of the Japanese army ordered Mai to perform for them after the Imperial Japanese Army occupied Beijing. Mai refused to sing throughout the war, and until the war ended, he lived a poor lifestyle. Mai Lan Feng got married to Fu Zi Sang, and together they had nine children. Three of their children died at young ages, and only four of the remaining children made it to adulthood. The four children were their, four ch their fourth child, Mai Bao Chen, the fifth child, Mai Shaku, the seventh and the only daughter, Mai Bai Wei, and their youngest son, Mai Bao Ji. The most famous of his children is his youngest son, Mai Bao Ji, who is a successor of the Mai school and still performs on stage. Mai's daughter also followed in his footsteps and made her way into the performing arts, but the, two, the other two sons took different paths from the family business. In all, Mai performed on stage for around 50 years. Mai Lan Feng served as director of the Chinese Beijing Opera Theater, director of the Chinese Opera Research Institute, and vice chairman of China Federation of Literacy and Art Circles. The story of his life was filmed in a documentary in 2000 called The Worlds of Mai Lan Feng. There is also a theater that is named after him and is located in Beijing. It is called the Mai Lan Feng Grand Theater. As a performer, Mai Lan Feng was highly recognizable for his performances in Peking Opera. He primarily played female roles and is remembered for his phenomenal performances as a female character. In the forms of traditional Beijing opera that he performed, his repertoire was Dan, or traditional female impersonator. Although Mai's primary role was that of Dan, he learned from many different teachers who portrayed various different roles than he did. He is especially known for his portrayal of flower-shattering diva. Mai maintained strong continuity while always working on new techniques for his performances. During his performances through Shanghai and many others, he acquired a national reputation. He toured the United States, Europe, and the Soviet Union, forming friendships and performing for various people and various audiences. When talking about Mai Lang Feng, a famous artist in Peking opera and a student of Mai's, Du Jing Feng, said, Master Mei is in his more than 50 years of performing on stage has devoted himself steadfastly to the innovation and reform of Peking Opera. During his lifetime, Peking Opera gained tremendously in terms of development and progress. The Peking Opera would never have been so well received and appraised by mass audiences both at home and abroad without Master Mei's great efforts. Mai Lan Feng was able to add to the Peking Opera stage by learning Chinese Kung Fu and incorporating it into his performances. During his lifetime, Mai performed over 100 different roles. Mai Lan Feng died August 8, 1961, in Beijing, China, from a heart disease. The Beijing Opera World just celebrating Mai Lan Feng's 120th birthday. There have currently been two movies made about him, his bi biography made in 2000 and another movie called Mai Lan Feng made in 2008. In Beijing, China, there was a museum made in his honor, the Mai Lan Feng Memorial Museum. The museum was opened in 1986, and it consists of various photos, plays, manuscripts, paintings, and books. There are three display rooms in the museum. The first room indu introduces the art activities of Mai Lan Feng in his lifetime. The second one shows Mai Lan Feng's visits and performances in foreign countries. And the last display room shows Mai Lan Feng's former house with the living room, study, and bedroom with all of his former furniture on display. Mai Lan Feng is one of the most remembered and honored performers in all of China.